and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're back. Um, if you're new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And um, I'm here today with I think part three of a Halloween haul and oh my god, I've got to be honest with you guys. I like went out today um, and it might be like the last Halloween haul of the season for me because like holy mm, if all the places aren't putting out their Christmas stuff already. It's like Halloween hasn't even, and like I am filming this on October 14th and it's like Halloween hasn't even happened yet. Like it's got 15 days to go. Like what, what, what is this? It's ridiculous. I'm like, mm, it's not okay in my opinion. But regardless, I had a very fun day going out today. It was my day off and I worked the next three days. So I was like, you know what? Time to just have a little Halloween haul before the weekend. Um, Cause Michael's was having a, everything's 50% off on the Halloween decor sale. Oh, and also I dyed my hair. Finally, I've been complaining about it in like all my previous videos. So yeah, I did it in like blue and purple and turquoise except it just kind of looks dark blue, but that's okay. I really like it. Um, regardless, that's enough rambling. Um, let's get into Halloween haul part three of 2021. I'm so excited. Um, if you're interested, I'll link part one and two in the description or just like my Halloween playlist since I've been doing like a bunch of things for Halloween so far and, or like for October month, I guess, spooky season. And um, I plan to do more, hopefully, um, cause it's the best season of all time in my opinion. And um, yeah, regardless, let's get into it. So number one, um, if you have seen my uh, October lookbooks, you might have seen this already, but in case you haven't, I got this amazing purse from Spirit Halloween. Um, so basically I've had the same purse from Spirit Halloween since last year. And it's the one that says like Book of Spells. It's this one here. And I love it and I was looking for another one because I noticed that they still had it on their website because mine has been like falling apart progressively and the colors like chipping and fading and etc etc. But I couldn't find the one that I was looking for and they had like a kids version of the Book of Spells bag where it was like purple and had kind of like an academy logo. But that wasn't really my style. And then I saw this and I was like alright I will do this because they also had one that was like kind of a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern situation and that was really cute. But I think it was from the movie Halloween and I hadn't seen it so... Um, yeah, regardless, ended up with going with this black cat one. Um, one thing that I absolutely love about it that I didn't notice until I got home, just take all my stuff out of the bag. <laughs> okay, the lining of it is really freaking cool. It has like little jack-o'-lanterns, little like hands and spooky cats and skulls and all sorts of fun things. So I really enjoyed that. Um, it has like some fun stitching on it, but also just some like painted details like the whiskers and the mouth. Um, and I just love this. I've been using it as my everyday bag because like I said, my other one is chipping and I just think it adds like such a cute little look to any outfit and I'll be using it year round. So um, I have my purse for 2021-2022, hopefully. <laughs> um, we'll see how long it lasts. That's my hope for it though. Okay, next, um, this I'm so excited for. I got this because um, Michaels was having the everything is 50% off and um, I would not have gotten this if it was full price, but for 50% off, I was like, I will totally. I'm obsessed with this. It's like, I don't know if this is like styrofoam or clay or what this kind of situation is. It doesn't really feel like plastic, like it's too heavy to be plastic, um, but it's a cauldron with moons and little frogs holding it up on four spots and I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, so I got it from Michaels. It was $39.99 originally, which means I got it for about $20. And for $20, this like sturdy little cauldron, I love it. I think it'll look super cute um, year round in the Halloween decoration situation. And um, yeah, I'm excited to fill it with spooky things. So um, that was from like a while ago when they had uh, everything's 50% off sale. This was from today when I went and it's super sweet. It's just like a little ornament with the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, my like craft room here is very like pink and pastel, but I've wanted to add like some more spooky elements to it. And I know this would have been really easy to DIY, but it's just like pretty little ornament and I think it'll look really cute on my wall. Um, so it was $9.99 originally, so it was about $5 for me today. And um, 
yeah, I think she's cute. I love her little, like the way she's drawn is really beautiful in my opinion. Um, so also today I went to the dollar store and I got some press on nails um, because I usually wear black nail polish, but it chips all the time and press on nails. Um, I only really get them around Halloween times because that's the only time that I find any kind of patterns that appeal to me. So these ones I got because I really like the lips, the vampire lips, um, but I guess the splatters are kind of cool as well. And these ones I really, really like purple like spider web kind of situation um they'll be really fun and um yeah i don't wear press on nails a lot but when i do i feel really fun and fancy so looking forward to that <laughs> um and these were a dollar fifty each and they were from dollar brown and i also went to like winners home sense marshalls that kind of thing today and this one was from winners i believe um and it was six dollars and it's this set of um, spatulas. I have one spooky spatula right now so it'll be really fun to like add these two to the set. Um, I really really like the one, the little one with bats on it, but the one with the pumpkin or like jack-o-lantern with the witch hat is also really adorable. Um, so yeah, I think they'll look really cute in my kitchen and my little like um, sort of kitcheny like where all my spoons and stuff hang out. They'll, they'll look really cute in there. Then from the dollar store, I got another card, a Halloween card. It's really hard nowadays to find any that are good or that I like, um, but it's this one. And um, what does it say? Do I wish you a happy Halloween? And then it says, does Dracula, oh my God, okay, whatever. Uh, this, <laughs> I just like this um, card that I got and it'll go on this wall with the rest of my Halloween cards. I just like um, kind of the purple aesthetic and like the skulls and stuff on it. So that was from the dollar store. Um, that was, this was from Michael's um, when they were having their 50% off situation. And before I even realized, like as I already decided that I wanted it before and I thought it was just a sign, but it's actually a coffin box. I love coffin shaped stuff. I just, yeah, it's one of my things. And I also love bats and like spooky houses. And this has, multiple of those things and it says home sweet haunted home it was twenty dollars originally so i got it for ten dollars today i really really like it i'm probably gonna put some craft supplies in it maybe it'll be a decoration for the beginning of the season and then later in the year it'll be like more for um kind of craft decor situations um but yeah love that one from my local grocery store i got two little pumpkins um i think these were around like a dollar each and i just Little pumpkins are so cute. They're one of my favorite things about the season. I know that they're still selling um, big pumpkins that we could carve into jack-o'-lanterns and I know Cage really wants to roast pumpkin seeds with me. So um, I think I'll have to add that to the list. Um, it's like so sad. I feel like the season's going by so slowly and I know like Jade the Libra mentioned in her recent Halloween haul about how like she wishes it would just be like October all the time but that Halloween would never come because it's like so sad when it comes because that means it's gonna end and I relate to that so hard and it just like feels so sad to like see all the Christmas stuff creeping in and to just like feel the Halloween spirit like slowly go away and get replaced by like I sound like such a Grinch right now but like oh my god let it be Halloween forever or like at least let it be Halloween until it's Halloween geez okay like anyway I don't know if this would be Halloween related, but I got it today and it was in the Halloween section, so I'll add it to the list. Um, I love Alice in Wonderland. I have since I was a kid. Um, I know that the story itself is like pretty questionable and C.S. Lewis or Lewis Carroll was, you know, had some questionable things, but um, I love the characters and one of my favorite ones is the Cheshire Cat and like the pink and purple one. Uh, so I got this mug and it's a heat color changing mug. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try it. Um, it was $6.99, I believe it was from Winners, and I, yeah, I'm so excited to try it. I've never had a color change mug before, and I've always seen them online and been like, that's so cool, and now I have one with my favorite character, or one of my favorite characters on it, from Alice in Wonderland, like, ooh, really, really excited, so yay, uh, Cheshire Cat, and yay, color change mugs. Cage is also really excited. I, like, showed it to him, and he's like, well, like, this, yeah, so I'll insert a little clip of it, if I remember, of, like, it color changing. On the mug train, I know I have like a million mugs, but I drink like a million cups of tea a day, um, so it's fine. This one was $6.99 and it's another like big cat mug, but this one has black cats and some of them are wearing witch hats, but I just love their little expressions. It says boo, it has some smiling jack-o'-lanterns and some, ba some bats and moons and like a little cat uh, mice. Um, and then inside it has little pictures of kitty cats and it says trick or treat, which I just think is precious and um, yeah, I got like a mug this size earlier in the season from um, Winners, Marshalls, one of those kind of situations. Um, and now I have another one so Cage and I can have like matching cup sizes 
<laughs> matching like cups of tea um, so that'll be very sweet also today I got another set of plates these ones are kind of little and I'm obsessed with them they're just um, Ouija boards and um, they're white and yeah they were four dollars each and just super cute I know that like lots of people are I feel like every time I buy stuff that has Ouija boards on it, the employees or like someone, some random person will be like, oh, like that feels sketchy that you're buying that and bringing that into your house or like this or that, or like, I don't like to touch those things or whatever. And it's like, literally though, Ouija boards, like the history of them, they started as like a parlor trick in the 1800s when everyone was like obsessed in like the, with the um, kind of like mysticism and like this kind of era. And they were kind of like made as a thing to be like a game and a parlor trick and like the idea that they're like this ancient kind of thing that's gonna channel like it's so yeah some cool plates and um whatever i also got um this spirit board kind of um platter from HomeSense. it was 13 dollars. i love it it's like a nice ceramic heavy kind of situation and um yeah i just think it's really beautiful um from the dollar store i got some window stickers with some skeleton doggies on them usually i'm much more of a cat person but they didn't have a cat option with these so i got the dog ones and um, these were from dollarama and they were a dollar fifty and i think they're super cute and they'll look cute either on a mirror or on a window okay and then from value village i got this set of horns and i think they're super cool they're really lightweight and they're just like these big fun demon horns. Um, and they were $11.99 from the brand Alter Ego. And um, I really like them. I think they're handy because they're like really lightweight and they just, um, they're really comfy. Um, they might like ram into a doorway potentially if you're like wearing them to a party or something, but I think they're super cool. And um, I think I've already worn them in a Halloween lookbook, but in case I publish this first, then you haven't seen them yet, so that's what they look like. <laughs> For Cage's Beetlejuice costume, I got some green um, hairspray, even though he and I shared um, my purple hair dye when I just had my hair right now um, recently, so we both have purple hair right now. So I don't know if the green will cover up for his Beetlejuice costume, the purple very well, but we'll see. For Lydia, I'm just gonna wear a wig. Um, okay, and then Cage and I went to this pumpkin event recently together and it was so cool. It was like all these pumpkins like light lit up and carved and like just like big art kind of situation. And it was super, super cute and we had so, so much fun. And then at the end they had um, like little booths where people were selling things. And one of the things that he got for me were these little rubber duckies because I had mentioned that I wanted um, a rubber ducky for our bathroom <laughs> and um, we found these spooky ones which just felt so appropriate so this one's a little skeleton and he kind of picked that one out and this one's the black cat and he was like I knew you'd want that one and he was right this one was my favorite one and I really wanted it so um, yeah these are <laughs> the two that we got um, they were like a couple bucks each um, since they had a bunch of really cool ones because they had like a little like pumpkin duck and like a little candy corn duck and like etc etc I ended up looking it up after and you can get them on Amazon I believe and probably a bunch of other websites I'll link it if I remember um but they're so cute I love them <laughs> um but yeah little like little cute spooky ducks I love okay and then from Michael's for their 50% off situation um this one was originally $20 but I got it for 10 and it's this fun little pumpkin guy who kind of looks like he's dancing and like being kind of like bashful almost because he's kind of like slanted to the side. I love him. He has a little um, thingy that says eek and they also had a black and white version of him but I like the orange version much better and I think he'll look really cute somewhere in this display. So yeah, you will find your new home soon. And then um, from Michael's, also for their 50% off thing, I got this set of stickers. Um, it was originally $8.99 so I got it for about $4. I love stickers. These ones, a lot of them are a little bit like, they're all very like pastel goth, some of them are kind of corny, but a lot of them are really beautiful in my opinion. Um, so I'm looking forward to using these in my journal or on decor on my wall or, you know, something like that. Really cute, I enjoyed this one a lot and I would not have bought it for the original price, but for like four bucks, sure, I'll take a sticker book. And it has 288 pieces, so, that's that. <laughs> um, um, also mentioned this in my lookbook, I'm sure, but this is the purple skirt, pa purple bat skirt. I got this at um, Value Village. If you're in the US, it's um, savers for you guys. 
um, but I love it. It's like a purple tutu with black flocked bats. And they also had a version that was red, like dark wine red with um, bl black flocked cats. Sorry, it's like hard for me to speak sometimes. Um, and I'm really kind of considering going back for it because this one's so cute and um, I've already worn it a couple times and I feel really cute in it. That's just my hair. Um, but red would be so cute and like with cats on it would be so cute because I work at the cat cafe and I'm always looking for like cute cat themed things that I can wear to work. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, fun. It smells like lemon. Oh, I know why it smells like lemongrass. Okay. Um, the other day I went to the mall. The other day I went to the mall because I had ran out of the marshmallow candle that I got that I really liked and Cage really liked it too so I had to go get one and then while I was there I was like okay well I might as well stop in to Lush because they had really cute like Halloween looking stuff. So I got this thing that I'm so interested in trying out. This ghost is a soap but he's also supposed to glow in the dark and he smells like lemongrass and just like super fresh and citrusy. So I'm really interested in trying that out and seeing what happens there. Um, because they had such cute Halloween stuff this year, but almost all of it was sold out except for little glow-in-the-dark soapy man. So um, yeah, I'm I'm really curious if he'll actually glow, if he'll suds up nicely, if etc cetera, etc cetera will happen. So um, we'll see. I'm excited. But yeah, how cute little ghost man. Yeah, I feel like he's glowing. I feel like I see it a little bit from Marshalls. Home Sense, one of those. Home sense. Okay, a couple weeks ago, I got this adorable Hello Kitty mug. Look how freaking cute this is. Okay, whenever Sanrio does their like Halloween spooky stuff, it's like my favorite, especially like the My Melody and Kuromi like spooky Halloween kind of plush and stuff. Sorry, I'm like falling over. Um, but this one with this little black cat on the pumpkin, I'm sorry. This is so precious and it's like a really good big size because I don't really like little coffee cups. I like big tea mugs. Really, that's like when I drink coffee, I usually drink it in a little cup, but I mostly drink tea throughout the day, and it's always in these massive mugs because I like to drink a lot of it. And this, this is like ideal size. I love this so much, and it's like this beautiful purple color. It has Hello Kitty, and it's cute, but it's also spooky, which is a like two things I love. Like my favorite is when things are cute and spooky. So like, woo, so exciting. <laughs> Last but not least, okay. At the cafe I work at now, I have a co-worker who recently got hired and they used to work at David's Tea and they talk about David's Tea a lot and I used to freaking, I used to love David's Tea because I used to work in a mall that had it really close by and like since I worked at Urban Outfitters, I would tell the people at David's Tea like, hey, you give me your employee discount, I'll give you my employee discount, we'll work it out, you know, kind of situation. And um, so I got to try lots of their stuff and it was so good. Same with the people at Tivana, but Tivana wasn't like, isn't like a thing anymore in that mall, or I don't know if it's a thing at all or if just like Starbucks bought them out, but regardless. Um, my favorite things there was the uh, vanilla matcha, um, like matcha, you know, powder. Um, freaking amazing. Also, they had this tea that was called Glitter and Gold and it had like tiny gold stars in it and it was like chai and it was so freaking nice. And they had this other one that was called like Buddha's Blend or something and that one was really good. I don't know. They had so many good teas and I just like haven't been there in forever, but like my coworker's been talking about it so much that I was like, okay, I like have to go, especially because they were talking about their Halloween stuff because me and all my coworkers this year are finally, like finally I have coworkers that all love spooky stuff or like not all all of them but like a lot of them really do um and my one that used to work at david's tea um told me about like their halloween collection and i got one of their boxes so um this one's called liquid spells and it has um five teas in it so it has um stormy night which is chocolate cinnamon coconut and vanilla mm, that's like much more up cages alley and it has monster mash which has moon and witch hat sprinkles and it's a cinnamon rooibos which i think cage will really like Magic Potion, it has a blue raspberry taste and a bright purple color. That sounds like my dream tea. I'm sorry, I love blue raspberry and I love blue and purple colors. So hello, sign me up. And then it has cotton candy, which was one of my favorite teas and I thought they discontinued it, but they have the cotton candy in here. And then candy apple, which I'm so excited to try. Um, and it says it comes in bags, which is interesting because before when I bought David tea test samplers, everything's been in these like little tins and I noticed that they had one of those options too, but I ended up going for this one instead because this one had flavors that I was more interested in than the other one, even though I would have preferred to have little tins because then I can reuse those as opposed to bags that I just kind of have to throw out. However, regardless, I'm so excited to try these out. Um, I love tea. 
drink a lot of it, as I've mentioned. Let me open this because I'm curious if the packaging's cute. Because the outside is super cute with like all these um, different colors and stuff. And I wonder, when it says like one bag, does it mean like one bag or like one tea bag? Like, because if it's one tea bag of each, that would suck. Oh no, it looks like a normal amount. Okay, yeah. So this is the chocolate cinnamon one. This is the candy apple one. I'm definitely gonna brew a cup of this. I'm so excited to smell them all. Oh, okay, no, let's, let's smell them. What are we doing? Okay. Yeah, it's so fun to have tea coworkers because then we can also talk about like tea stuff and how to brew tea properly and the different types of just talk. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like chocolate cinnamon tea, but this seems like something Cage will like a lot. Yeah, it's like sad because as a person who loves fall so much, I don't like pumpkin spice. So I can't like get all into the hype. Oh my God, this smells so good already. This smells like freaking bubble gum. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That smells like candy. I am so excited to brew that. That smells like it's going to be bright pink, even though it says black tea, but it's the fresh candied apple, candy apple one. Mm, so excited to try that. Um, this one is cotton candy. Oh my God. I'm so excited to smell this again because the last time I smelled this, I was probably like 16 and working at my first cafe job that I started when I was 14 and I hated it, hated it so much. Oh my God. Mm, terrible memories, but I'm sure this tea will smell really good, but I remember drinking it at work. So hopefully it doesn't give me like a bad pack back in that one. Mmm, no, it smells incredible and it's so pretty. It has like all these little pastel pieces in it. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture and like insert it here, but like it's so pretty. I forgot that it looked adorable as well, but like, oh my God, all the little pastel pinks and blues. That's the one thing that I'm really excited for because like my hair, I like it now, but I'm more excited for when it kind of fades out and is a bit more pastel color, which is ironic because this hair dye came with a thing that you can make, that you can use to make it pastel, but I didn't feel like doing that. Um, this one's the magic potion. Oh, the blue raspberry one. Oh, okay, I'm excited. Oh, I can already smell it. Okay. Okay. I will probably have to go back and get like a big boy of this because. Oh my god, how is that so good? Ah! Oh my god, Cage would love this as iced tea, I bet. Okay. Last one, so that one's Magic Potion. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to um, try that one. I kind of want to try it instead of the candied apple one now. Okay, Monster Mash. Oh, this is the pumpkin butter and cinnamon, but it has the witch hats, I think. It's the one with the witch hats. When I saw that, I was like, I'm sorry, what? Because the, the glitter and gold used to have little gold stars in it and then they stopped having that and I stopped liking it as much because that was one. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, it has little moons. Mmm. Okay, I don't like cinnamon, pumpkin, that kind of thing, but I can totally see the appeal when I smell stuff like this. Yeah, so this is the Monster Mash one, and it looks so cute. I'll definitely insert a little picture of it. That's the end of this Halloween haul. Probably the last Halloween haul of the season. Oh my god, I want to cry. That's so sad. And like, I have more Halloween content planned, but sometimes I'm worried that I won't get it out in time for the end of the season. But I've decided that like, even if it's not out in time for the end of the season, who cares? I can still film Halloween stuff and live my best Halloween dream because that's what I've done every year. Every year I get really sad that Halloween's ending and then I'm like, whatever. It can be Halloween into November if I want. It can be Halloween into December and the rest of the year, honestly, who cares? Um, so, but it's nice when everyone else is feeling the cheer and you can actually like go into stores and see stuff that you're like, oh my God, yes. And like go into coffee shops or like see coffee shops and your coffee shop that you work at has like all freaking themed fall stuff and you're allowed to draw pumpkins on everything and you're allowed to draw scaredy cats on everything. Like that's the best, oh. And it's so sad that it's coming to an end. But at least in my personal life, I can keep up my Halloween display for the rest of the year if I want to. And that's what I will do because also Cage said it's fine and I think it's awesome. So yeah, um, that's all I got for you guys today. Hi, oh my god, okay, I thought I was done filming, but I actually realized that I for- Okay, where's my scrunchie? <clears throat> okay, so, sorry, I thought I was done filming. How almost ever, I realized that I forgot to show you guys my super cool cookie jar that I also got, because um, the cookie jar that I used to have, um, Cage and I 
used to have. Um, it is blue with geese on it, which is super cute, but it matched all the other geesey looking stuff like my toothbrush holder and our like little carafe thing that we had in the bathroom. So I was like, okay, sorry, the geese cookie tin has to now be a bathroom tin to hold like lotion and stuff. So there's no more cookie tin because it's being used in the bathroom. Home store, so I have to get a new cookie tin. Long story short, this is my new one. It says trick or treat. And it has these really cute skeletons on it, and I had seen it a couple weeks ago, and I'd really, like, kind of been like, oh, I want that, but, like, nah, it's fine, like, I don't need it, and, like, whatever, and then I was like, ah, oh. I'd been thinking about it and thinking about it, and then I hadn't seen it again, and then I saw it today, and I was like, it's probably gonna be my last chance to snag it. It was $19.99, but super worth it. It's a beautiful, nice ceramic. It's got a nice, airtight lid, <laughs> um, and it'll be, and it's, like, the perfect size, and I love it. And yeah, it'll be the cookie jar for this house. So yay. Okay, that's all I got. Bye for now. <laughs> hey friends, so it's October like 26th right now and I was actually just editing this video. Um, however, also today, hold on, since I opened this P.O. box recently, I got um, in the mail for the first time, my first ever thing from my peel box, which was a bunch of Halloween stuff from Lush because um, when I went to the store when I was at the mall, like the only thing they had was like this ghosty um, guy and then the, the, that night I like went on their website and they had so much freaking cool stuff and I was like, okay, like gotta get some limited edition Halloween spooky stuff um, because you know what, it was like last chance of the season and this is last thing. So you know what, whatever, F it, I'm like, Kind of like, oh my god, this is so much. But whatever, it was a lot of fun. And um, I just want to show you guys what I ended up getting. Um, so the first thing is called Monster Octopus. And it's a shower jelly. And I'm super excited about it because A, shower jellies, you can put them in the freezer with like a hot shower and it's really fun. But B, <laughs> it's like so goopy and weird. Hold on, let me unstick him. This is so cool. <laughs> Do you see this? It's like a legit octopus and it smells, oh my god you guys, it smells so freaking good. It looks so cool and spooky, like just like a weird bloody octopus. It's like jiggly as heck. It can go in the freezer. It feels like all melty and spooky and like, I've always been a person that loves to do like bath time magic stuff kind of thing. Um, and ooh, red blood looking things on like Halloween just feel so spooky and like candles and stuff. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait. Um, I'm really, really excited for Halloween because I booked the day off work and I do work the three days before that. Um, but I'm just like so looking forward to it. I can't wait. Um, Cage and I aren't super sure our plans yet. We're like kind of looking at drive-in movies and like wanting to like dress up and go to a drive-in. Um, but for whatever we do, I am so excited. I just... Uh, even if we just like stay in and get a bunch of spooky treats That would be really cool But I would love to honestly just like walk around and look at all the like house decorations Even if we don't like necessarily trick-or-treat because I might be like a little bit too shy because like last time I went I think I was 14 and I was so shy and I was like dressed up as Beetlejuice Which is ironic because this year again, I'm going as like Lydia. So like how fun to um, do that but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited maybe to do like a little bit of walking around. My parents, they were like suggesting like, why don't you go to like the neighborhood you grew up in and do like some trick or treating there? And I was like, that actually sounds so fun, but like also kind of embarrassing. So maybe we'll just go like on a little neighborhood walk and like hopefully see some jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. I think that would be super fun and like cuddle up and watch some movies with like all our spooky snacks. I think that would be really, really fun because it would be also fun for me to like spend the day baking spooky snacks and making things like that, regardless. On with the haul. Um, so yes, the um, the monster octopus. If you're curious, the scent of it is passion fruit, vanilla, and black currant, and it smells like so fruity and sweet and delicious and like candy and like bubble gum and just like the tentacles are so fun and the red is so cool and I just oh it's so cool um okay sorry I have like my computer here so I can like look at what the ingredients are and stuff so I can show you you're not like the ingredients but like the scent um so the other thing that I got that I'm so freaking excited for is the scream bubble bar and I'm not like that big of a 
ghost face or like scream person um but the color and the scent because it's cherry and it's a bubble bar hold on let me double check yeah cherry scented softening bubbles so i'm guessing it has like cocoa butter and stuff in it uh, but basically the thing with bubble bars if you like haven't used them before or whatever um you like crumble them in the bath and they make like giant amounts of bubbles and it's so freaking fun and like you can like one of these like you can break it up into multiples and it'll like last you a really long time but the cherry smells so good and like you could use it as like a bubble blower because it has like a hole in the mouth so you go like you know like through the make bubbles <laughs> i like saw like a promo picture where they had that but like oh i'm so excited it smells so good and my favorite thing because i don't really go to lash very often but when i do and i do get stuff and it's in my bathroom and it smells so good and like oh it's exciting i feel like I'll go and I'll get like a bunch of stuff and then like cut it up and slowly use it for like multiple months <laughs> like for six months until I like go again or like a year because I go like when there's like cool fun Halloween stuff if we're honest okay all right then I also got this alien bubble bar because I freaking love bubble bars and I think aliens are super fun and this one's just precious I accidentally smudged his eye when he was coming out of his little packaging so like picture that his eye isn't smudged and like there's like all this cool like texture in the forehead that maybe you can't see it if my hand's behind it oh yeah there you go that's like perfect but yeah it smells so so freaking good it's like bergamo bergamot and litsy cubiba cubeba oils and it's like fruity and citrusy and it's supposed to be softening for the skin and you can use it like over a bunch of times because like with one like this I'd probably cut it into like four or six pieces and I'm just like so excited to have like bright green baths like that sounds so fun and like green is like a very like healing color so like to have just like the citrus and the bergamot like when you're like feeling sick with like all the like beautiful acid green bubbles oh my god that sounds so exciting like I would feel like I was in a cauldron like that sounds like the best okay I'm very excited about that that might be one of my more favorite smells. I really, really like it. And it's so bright. Ooh, so cool. All right. Okay. Then one that I I think I might be most excited about this, but I don't know because this one's a bath bomb and not like a bubble bar, but bath bombs are like beautiful in their owner because they make like all the beautiful art. Um, but it is a bat shaped one and it's super sparkly, which I freaking love. And it's like black, but it has like purple kind of iridescent sparkles in it almost. Um, you can't see it, it just kind of like looks silvery on screen, but it smells freaking amazing. It's uh, citrusy Sicilian lemon and green mandarin oils with herbaceous hints of rosemary and sage. Oh my gosh, can you tell that I like love citrusy smells and <laughs> that kind of thing? Because all the things I picked out are like really citrusy and fruity, but like, oh my goodness. Smells so freaking good because they had like a lot of things that were really cute, like the pumpkin shaped things and the ghost shaped things, but they didn't have scents that I liked, so I was like, no. Other than the like glow in the dark ghost, but they had like other ghosty things. But the ones that I got, I'm so freaking excited for. I really, oh my gosh, the sparkles are so freaking pretty. The bat shape is so freaking fun. I'll probably be able to get like two uses out of this guy. Usually with bath bombs, you're not able to like stretch them out as much as you are with bubble bars, but I'm like, really really freaking excited and just like before you use it up to have it sit in your bathroom and just like smell delicious especially like every time you shower when it's like hot and then it kind of like releases the oh my god it's my favorite i can't wait um so yeah i'm definitely going to be living out my halloween dreams well past into the season with all my spooky mugs and spooky towels and spooky bath bombs and spooky teas and i'm just so freaking excited and i feel so lucky and um Cage was like telling me the other day he's like i feel like this halloween has lasted for much longer because of how much we've been like consistently celebrating since like August um, because I've been like making spooky drinks and listening to spooky music and watching spooky movies and like decorating with spooky decor like since August and like talking about my Halloween costume like since last Halloween so it just like feels really cool to have it all come together and be able to continue and um, I'm so happy that I've like leftover fabric I'm like looking at it on the floor right now um, that I'll be able to like use in like future spooky projects um and also either tonight or tomorrow maybe tonight it's 12 6 a.m okay maybe not tonight but i am going to be working on cage's beetlejuice 
um, shirt soon for sewing because I need to get it done in time. Um, but I'm really excited because it's like a tuxedo shirt ruffle thing, which I haven't done like a human sized one. I've just done like little doll ruffles in the past, so we'll see how it goes. Either way, I've rambled for long enough. Um, I'll definitely be back, just maybe not with another Halloween haul. Tears and sadness for that but regardless i really really appreciate you guys watching especially till the end that means so freaking much to me i hope that you are being really kind to yourselves and um if you're not that's okay but but put, try to put some effort into that um and and do something that you love today for yourself and um i'm sending you a big hug please give yourself a big hug and um i love you i hope you have a great rest of the day or the night whenever you're watching this and um bye for now thanks for watching